CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Peak doesn't have a name. The um, summit designator is Whiskey 5 November Slant Alpha Papa 015. Um, had to use the all wheel drive a couple times to get up in this road. If it's wet up here, <laughs> you're probably going to want full four wheel drive with lockers. But um, and then I stopped, there is a turnoff off the main road. Um, it slowly gets worse. So, no reason to push it. I'm not that far from the summit. But, um, should be a good hike. This has never been activated before. Maybe we'll find out why in a minute. There's a, there's one side that looks like it has cliffs on it. So, definitely not going up that side. But, uh, this should be an adventure to see. Uh, what it's gonna take to get up to this. I think this side's gonna be pretty pretty simple. There's a deep trail I'll follow for a little while maybe. But um, yeah. Should be good to go. It's about geez I didn't time it. Maybe a half hour from the town uh, town of Luna uh, dirt roads. We have forest, forest roads up here really well maintained. So makes it pretty simple getting up here. Um, this this is a ranch road more or less, so not really made for city vehicles. But um, anyway, let's get crack and get up this thing. Get her done. Kind of a nice little place here. I was able to pull the vehicle off the road here people can get by because it's a definitely a single track so pretty up here and it's about 70 maybe well 70 degrees actually about 68 when i was first starting up here but it feels like about 70. all right i'm serious let's get cracking <sighs> little jeep trail cruises around there so Pretty dry out here. Uh, monsoons are about to start though. So, some clouds in the sky. No developing thunderstorms yet, so hopefully we can get this taken care of. From um, this and road improves a little bit after where I parked. Uh, if you have a little bit of clearance, decent tires, you should be able to drive up to this point. I'm basically on a saddle here, and uh, it's between these two little humps, and uh, so we're going to hike up basically this way, per the chart, <clears throat> which doesn't look like I'm all encounter sheer cliffs, so we'll see, we'll get cracking here, it's pretty, uh, a lot of oak, um, pine, ponderosa, um, looks like a jeep trail that goes up this guy, so probably passable terrain, but, um, this is going to get pretty gnarly, I wouldn't, 
definitely would not be able to do this one. With all wheel drive, I wouldn't have any tires left. It's flattening out a bit. And I believe I'm in the activation zone. I'm inside the last topo uh, line, so. And we're gonna pick up some nice views. So, yeah. Pretty up here. Uh, when it starts raining, it's gonna be most excellent, I'm sure. So. Clouds are forming pretty quick. Normal for this time of year, but they don't, they're not forming like thunderstorms. But we'll keep an eye out. I don't mind a little rain. But I'll skip the, the whole lightning part of that operation. It's pretty nice. We'll have a nice activation zone here. Now, if you want to come up the north side, it's fine with me. Um, but I uh, hope you have some climbing skills. Uh, we're on a nice little kind of rock face cliff here, so very cool. Um, I'm not going to recommend this to anybody. But uh, if you like climbing up rock, lava rock, uh, yeah, doable. Actually, probably I could do this right here, this little crack, but... Oh, great views from up here. And there's the main road down there um, that we came in on. So we kind of came in around this peak and basically the way the chart shows is what I followed and uh, my planning turned out to be a spot on again. Cause, well, I'm not that good, but anyway. Great little views from up here in New Mexico, and that's looking east. Uh, this is pretty much uh, due south. So, um, coming around to the east here, and then looking up north. Quiet up here, not a soul around. I did see one pickup, two pickups on the main road. That's about it. Nice little forested area in here. It's very nice, peaceful. So let's break the piece and fire up some radio. So check out the operating position. There's our mast. A little sloper down to uh, our operating position. Under this beautiful little tree or in the shade of this tree here. Clouds are moving in pretty quick, so I better get cracking. Don't know what they have in, plant in store for me, but they're getting pretty dark up here quickly. Okay, radio's up. QRL, my call sign, or QRL question mark, and then my call sign. See if anybody else is on this frequency. I don't hear anybody. So let's get cracking here.
There's George. Mission complete. Looking around, make sure we aren't uh, leaving any gear behind. Ohana, no gear left behind. So we're gonna head back to the vehicle. Uh, really great activation. God, the weather was just perfect. Uh, when I sat down, some more clouds moved in and just gave me some awesome shade. Looks like we might get some rain out of this, but we'll see. Uh, it's looking pretty dark and uh, scary over there. Doesn't, does not huge buildups uh, that you would see with uh, thunderstorms. We're getting some off to the north though. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what the day produces for us. <sighs> wow, this is a really great summit. Um, just a little too easy to get to. I was expecting more of a hike today, but um, yeah. Uh, did well, 36 contacts. Um, so all via CW. I uh, couldn't spot myself. Uh, and uh, with the weather moving in, I thought, well, I'll just head down. Uh, 20 meter, 40 meter, I tried 60 um, for the guys down in the valley. I uh, didn't get anything back. I thought I had one station, but I kept calling him back and he uh, did not respond. So I think he was calling me kind of in the blind. But uh, yeah, beautiful country up here. Sure is dry, unfortunately, but uh, our monsoon season starts right about now. So anytime we should start getting some rain up here. But uh, let's go check out the views this way. Little view that way, beautiful, beautiful view. Um, and that is uh, just about due west. So, yeah, great little views from up here. So, anywho, we're gonna head back down to the vehicle. I think I've only hiked 0.7 according to this. That's even with a little bit of walking over the edge here. So, mile and a half hike round trip. Not too bad. All right, back at the vehicle. There's another summit on the way out. If it doesn't start raining, maybe I'll head up there and see if I can activate that one. Um, if I don't, I'm happy this, with just this. This is just really, really pretty. And it's much prettier summit as well. Quiet. All right, we're gonna do summit number two here. Give it a try. It starts raining, then we're out of luck. But uh, this thing's kind of a pain in the ass to get to. But come up, basically come up around there, and then there's our summit up there. So let's get cracking. There's our summit. We got to go down into this little saddle. And then back up to that guy, which is a pain, but it's not that far. All right, might be able to see my car way down there. Power line going up the hill. And I'm 20, 30 feet, vertical feet at most from this peak. Um, I could sit up there in those rocks, but I'm well within the activation zone. Ah, and the peak is too small to operate on. Anyway, I didn't operate up there last time either. But um, I found a better route coming up here, so a little bit easier than my first time. I found it going back. So, let me get the antenna set up and start sending some cool waves. Okay. Sometimes you have good operating positions, sometimes you don't. Oh, the last one was beautiful. This one's, that's gonna be a challenge. It's starting to sprinkle, so I'm gonna get this done as soon as I can. How much rain we're gonna get here. So, I just sent a spot out via the inReach. I am hoping uh, the inReach is down there on a rock. She can talk to the sat, squirt the bird. Ooh message away actually so that's pretty cool 
not quite ready, but just best get on it. Activated. You gotta love it. Haha! <laughs> Man, my spots are going out in under, shoot, under two minutes. Um, thank you, InReach, for launching those extra satellites. Or Iridium, actually, the Iridium satellite. So InReach is communicating with uh, the Iridium satellite network. I'm sending the SMS up to the SOTA uh, spotting computers. Uh, it would set up to read those SMS messages, parse them, and then set, uh, create a spot for me on SOTAwatch.org. All right, 22 contacts, I'll take that. Uh, up here on Red Butte, I think it is, in New Mexico. So, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, just had to be jammed up against the, uh, the incline here. But I got a decent operating position. There's a lot of QRM coming off of those uh, power lines down there, the big giant transmission line. So um, that made it a little bit more challenging. Um, I think some some stations I may not have heard because uh, they're be <coughs> below the noise floor. So I'm gonna head on back. Hopefully without crashing here. So and uh, just a little spots of rain, but that's about it. Sure, pretty. Back at the vehicle, no blood spilled. That's a good thing. Ah, it's really pretty up here with the clouds moving in, keeping it cooler. Uh, like I said, last time I was up here, it was pretty darn hot. So, I'm gonna go home, make a sandwich. Maybe take a nap. Ah. It's nice up here. All right, these are some massive transmission towers. Looks like they have more capacity. They need some stuff on the side. But I'm guessing they're the big 20 kV ones. The guide wires for this go right over the road, if you can see that, to hold this thing up. So they had to pin into this side of this hill here. So that's kind of odd. Don't see that off where you're driving underneath the guide wires. But uh, that's this is what made it raise the noise floor up on the mountain there which one of the reasons why you do summits on the air is to get away from all the RF noise but in this case it's got to live with it just a quick plug for the SoCal Soda Fest on August 1st and 2nd grab your radio and get on to the summit and make some summit to summit contacts if you're a chaser we'd love to have you chasing us it also happens to be the same day that the Colorado group is doing the same thing. So come on out and get on the radio.